Well, I played IPL with him, so um, I kind of know what he's got. But um, no, I think uh, obviously a good day to be a fast bowler. Um, I think both both teams with the ball in hand um, bought a lot of good stuff and a lot of good balls and um, obviously a fair bit in the wicket, a um, bit of swing, some sideways movement and some good pace and carry. So uh, the game's very much in fast forward. Um, and yeah, I think both teams bowled, bowled fairly well today. Uh, Rambo? I think you played in the other four tests here and the average first innings has been about 450. I think, what was demonstrably different about that pitch compared to the other uh, not a whole lot, I don't think. Um, I mean, it might have been a, a bit more sideways movement. Um, again, more, you need to test my memory here. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not. I couldn't tell you to be honest. It, it, I don't know if they were very different wickets to, to all the test matches. Um, I think it was a fair, fair, fair bit of good bowling today. Um, obviously, there was enough in the wicket and. A, Probably felt it was a it was a hard ball wicket when the ball started to get a little bit softer towards the the back end of that that in innings. It probably didn't do as much. It still still was enough there, but didn't do as much as the the brand new hard ball. So um, I guess that's something for for teams to take in the second innings. If if you can get through the testing period, it does get slightly easier. Um, that being said, the outfield's quite slow, so uh, that probably made runs a bit hard to come by. That's probably the slowest the outfield we've seen over in the West for a long time. What do you think? And Mitch, what's the mood like in the rooms when those wickets are at some points of course they were? There wasn't many where I was, so um, is what it is. That's cricket. Wickets happen. Um, business as usual, and we'll come out tomorrow and try and get as close to that title as we can. But um, yeah, you, you're allowed to bowl good balls, and both teams did that today. Mitch, um, just further to the, I guess, the the pitch and also obviously there's a bit of talk about how the Cook Mark Hall has been different the last three or four years. I mean, do you think it it is generally getting, you know, better for bowlers, harder for, for batters in, in Australia? Like, do you think this today's part of a trend? I don't know. How many time, how many ways can you skin a cat? Are the bowlers allowed to bowl good balls? <laughs> um, sometimes it's always, there's a lot spoken about when there's a lot of runs, it's like, oh, well, the bowlers bowl badly. When there's wickets, oh, the wickets are tough. You're allowed to bowl good balls. Um, maybe credit should go to both both teams of bowlers. And um, sure, there's there's plenty in the wicket when you you put it in the right area, and and it was hard work for batting. But as I said, you're you're allowed to got bowl good balls, and, and there's plenty of those today. And just on on obviously you know that release point, getting you know letting go of the ball maybe 30 centimeters ahead of a lot of bowlers. I mean, how um, you know batters talk about it as a challenge. You as a bowler you see that as an advantage. A lot of guys wish they had. Maybe uh, he's obviously got a fair bit of hyperextension in that that elbow and does uh, does things a lot of actions won't let you do. So um, there's no surprise that he's been a fantastic bowler across the formats for a long time. Um, and it, again, his skills were on show today as to how how good he is. So yeah, I'm sure there's something in that release point um, that that's significant to his action. Um, it's, it's something a lot of people can't do. So. Uh, I'm not. I'm certainly not going to go and try it. I'll probably snap. Okay. Um, you just, do you think that the wicket will settle down um, in nope. a second? <laughs> <laughs> there's uh, there, there's some cracks out there, so I wouldn't imagine so. No. Just on the um, Mitch Marsh wicket, uh, it looked like the Mahmud Siraj's shoe came off when he bowled. Was that something Mitch mentioned when he came off, or was that the reason why it comes to the No, I think it was more about whether the catch had carried or not. Um, he did mention the shoe, but it wasn't sort of, it certainly didn't distract him. I think Marnus made more of it than, than Mitch did. Right, okay. yeah. yeah. What was it, um, uh, just kind of on that, was it, um, I mean, it looked quite tense then for a period that you kind of get, get a bit of that when you were Uh, test cricket, yeah. <laughs> you mentioned surface and feeling for previous games, did you, have to do anything different to get lengths given there was a little bit more sideways there or just put it in the areas you normally do here? Pretty much that. I think we know coming to the west or if you're playing at the Gabba, they're places that you need to pitch the ball up and, and encourage driving and we know there's more pace and bounce on those certainly those two grounds. So um, that was true again today. I think both teams did that that very well to to encourage the shots and, and bring in the edges and um, there were catches taken. So, yeah, I don't think 
the the approach to bowling has changed too much when we've come here. We, we know what we need to do. Um, Mitch, uh, you bowled a lot with uh, Rashidana, you know, in KKRDs. So were you surprised the way he bowled today or it was all okay? You, you knew that he can bowl with the red cherry also. How was it to see him bowling and, and especially that Travis Head wicket? Yeah, it was a good ball. Um, uh, yeah, I've only seen him with the white ball, so um, I haven't seen any of his, his longer format stuff. But um, yeah, he bought some good stuff. Obviously, I saw him through the, the IPL last year and, and um, the ball to Trav was, <laughs> was an, another good ball today. So um, I'm sure that's one he'll, he'll cherish as his first wicket. Uh, one there, and we'll finish here. One kill, Rahul, just because you didn't think uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, talks about that dismissal. Do you think there were conclusive evidence that uh, third umpire overturned on field of Obviously, it got to overturn. So, yeah, I thought it was regulation. Um, the sound it made, the timing of it, I, I thought it was just a regulation wicket. Um, and, and obviously, the 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 footage showed that, which was why it was overturned. Uh, Mitch, uh, did you honestly, did your team expected such, such kind of comeback? What happened with India recently against New Zealand and then getting bowled out with just one fifty run stump? Many of the senior players missing this kind of comeback on the first year, or just passing. Uh, that that was a completely different series, different conditions, um, different teams. So, yeah, that was entertaining to watch that that series unfold. But um, we know how good good a team India are, and and that's shown today. After you know, I thought we we bowled quite well, and and perhaps an underpass score, and they they've come out and and matched us with the ball. So. Um, no, I wouldn't say it was a surprise. We know the, the skill they've got in that, that team with bat and ball, and, and they showed that with, with the ball today. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.